12 million? What's this for? Purchase of U-Baked pizzas. They wanted 13. You said put the screws to them. Mission accomplished. And Westwood Enterprises saves a million and you only nod your head? Are you feeling okay, sir? No. In the old days, I would have been doing the negotiating. Now it just doesn't seem to matter. I, I've lost it. Yeah, but you've built an empire. I mean, you've done it. It's past tense. Have you ever gone to the dog races? No, sir. They have this mechanical rabbit that goes around the track, causing the dogs to chase it. If the dog ever catches that rabbit, he's ruined for life because he knows it's not edible. He won't chase it anymore. Well, I've chased my dreams for years and I caught them all. They're all illusions. There was no satisfaction there. <laughs> I just don't want to chase anymore. Poor shave, I see. Well, I wish I could help, sir. Really? Then show me something that can bring back my zest for life. Well, I have an idea. But it requires you to cast aside your identity for a while, you know, be someone you're not. Whatever, as long as it's legal and I get out of this funk I'm in. Okay, but you've got to trust me. But first we got to go shopping at the Salvation Army. And, uh, don't shave. I'm Shane. Welcome to the Brent Life. You guys looking for a place to stay? Yeah, we just got out of jail. We don't got nothing. I'm Paul. This is Clint. I couldn't help it. It just popped in there. Chuck's a bit on the weird side, but he's harmless, though. You guys got here just in time for dinner. So how'd you end up here, Shane? I got laid off. I worked in middle management for a company that was bought out by Westwood Enterprises. They brought in their own people, couldn't find a decent job, foreclosed on, car repo. So you gotta be mad at Westwood. It wasn't personal, it's just business stuff. God has taken care of us though. Us? Yes, my wife and daughters. Food's here, let's see. I am down with no direction. I just stand and watch the sky. Dreaming, wondering is someone out there. Just one glimpse could change my life. There is a dream giver, his love and mercy brings us will see their dreams come alive. I've seen enough. I'm out of here. Where's Clint going? I, I don't know. I really don't know. Steve, I want you to cancel those layoffs at You Bake Pizza. Great, thank you. Bye. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, sir. You seem like a new man. Slept well? Hardly awake. I lay awake thinking about life and dreams. I, I couldn't wait to get started on my new dreams. We're going to open a franchise that you bake pizza right here, and we're going to make Shane the manager. Is there a rehab center nearby? Uh, yes, sir. Good. I want everyone down at the shelter who needs rehab to get enrolled. And everyone who wants to work and is able, put them on our payroll and give them something to do. Oh, I feel so, so alive. How did you know that a trip to the homeless shelter would do this? Well, Confucius says that man wrapped in himself makes a very small package. I just figured you had to break out of your little self box. Really? But this is great. Every life I touch enriches me. The more I help others, the more satisfaction I feel. It's like a perpetual motion machine. Why didn't I see this before? Well, because you were not looking. Everyone has a story. Everyone has value. When I started my empire, it was with a recycling business. Seems I've come full circle. But now I'm going to recycle people. And you started with yourself. No, no, no. You recycled me. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to help give people their dreams back.